Dear international students, welcome back to Full Scholarships. Today we are here with new opportunity for you and this is from Italy government. It's an Italian fully funded scholarship from DSU and we will discuss about this scholarship in a while. This is for the session 2023 and 2024. Before that, if you are new on our YouTube channel or have been watching our videos previously but have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to Full Scholarships YouTube channel that you are watching right now. You can get this Italy scholarship link from the YouTube video description link is given there. Click on the apply link in the top of the description and it will take you to our website here. Also, you can follow us on Instagram and link is also given in Instagram bio. So you can also click on this link and it will take you to the same destination here. Or you can just message us or you can just comment down below the video that I need this link and we will send you there. Easiest and the best way is just check the YouTube video description link is there and click on that alternatively you can visit our website that's our watermark to this video www.fullscholarships.net so once you reach of any of the destinations on our website or this type of page will appear in front of you and you can read about this DSU scholarship program how to apply for this region in the DSU and this scholarship is also provided by the European Union and University of Pisa DSU scholarship so you can study in this University of Pisa and some basic details that we will read about it so country is Italy it's in Europe and one of the most preferred and the easiest destination for international students to get admission as well as scholarship so this scholarship will be covering the bachelor's and master's it's a fully funded and deadline is for this opportunity 6th of september 2022 so you have around two months left for this particular opportunity to fill if you have already enrolled if you already got admission in the italian universities in the dsu uh, zone then you can also fill this scholarship so financial assistance and benefits are also mentioned meals tuition accommodation will be provided and some important documents that need to be covered under this scholarship are mentioned here. So national ID, your passport, academic records, your uh, picture, passport size picture, form applying for the university, compensative study courses, motivation recommendation and all types of documents that are mentioned. Similarly, so you have to apply before 6th of September or on or before 6th of September 2022. And now once you are ready all once you have read all these details and you are ready with the application process so simply scroll down here you can see apply now button given at the end so click on this apply now button here once you click on that apply now button it will take you to this university of the pisa official website so this is an official university of pisa website and it is in the pisa location of italy and here you can check all the uh, DSU scholarship details are given here. So DSU grant includes who can apply application and uh, required documents. Then the EU student requirements, non-EU student requirements, and the other uh, details are also given here. You can check again. The deadline is 6th of September. Now, once you are on this page, you have read all the details and cross verified them simply uh, here you can check on the right hand side there is an online service for students so if you are here for the first time do click on this sign in option here do not click on login if you are for the first time please do register before that for registering you have to click on this sign in option here once you click on that sign in option so there will be a new user registration so simply click on a new user registration and simply follow the processes so let me translate it to the English. So you have to uh, translate it to the English. So let me refresh the page. And open it again. Now here you can check new user registration. Click on this new user registration. Now on this first page you have to enter the text code. But as a foreign student you have to click on this foreign student with without Italian text code then click on forward and then you have to fill all these details and complete steps once you do that you have to simply come back and click on this login button here 
once you click on that login button it should take us to the reserved area now you have to use the same registration details same username and password that you received in your email then simply click on login so you will be receiving this email and the password in the email now once you are on this dashboard you can check in the log after logging in so choose one of the following options so sign up for the admission exam choose a degree program so now click on this choose a degree program here in the second option click on this now once you are on the second option here you can check description type pending process so you have to first choose and add an application and then simply click on enrollment and then simply uh, you can so let me undo this process for you so that you can easily understand the process so now once you click on that admission in the second option then you have this type of page will appear in front of you so now you have to click on this enrollment option here so let's wait for a few seconds so that we get passed to this enrollment option and now you can check you have to click on this regular enrollment and after clicking on this then you have to click on the forward button so forward means next so now you have to choose the course uh, whichever course you are uh, going for so you can check so let me translate it for the english so first level professional first level master so you can choose single course also so let me choose this first level professional master course then click on forward button here so now you can check uh, the details department so civil industrial engineering civil chemical experimental medicine so you can check all subjects and their courses are here so now if you want to for example i will be choosing civil and industrial engineering and for that i'll be choosing this commission uh, lean for smart factory or you can choose any of the courses that you prefer and then i will scroll down and click on next so after choosing that you have your course is added here now click on confirm button and it should take us to the next steps so now we have to if you have a residency permanent if you already got scholarships if you already got admission in this university the pisa so you have to upload residency format however you can simply click on next but to us we have to upload a new residency permit and here you can check which at least date it's mentioned so in my case i am having a residency from october 1st and my residency is expiring on 2024 so it's a two year course and so now my two years are added and residency type so student who does not have a residency permit now click on next so you have to choose as a student So there is uh, some mistake. So let me correct it. So after crossing the residency permit, now I can click on confirm. So here you can check. Let me translate it first. Okay, the requested function is not implemented. So in your case, if you are getting this error, you can ask them. But let me go to the home button here. So go to the master data here. And my processes will be added there. So during registration, I have entered all these details. You have to also enter these details during registration. And you can go for the summer school application for for incoming students it's also given there so you can click on the application form for incoming students so right now there are no programs available so if in future there are some programs available they will be also discovered on this dashboard rest you have to follow the same steps that we discussed in this video and so you can check admission test enrollment so if you click on the enrollment your application will be shown there so you can check in progress and you can forward this to next steps so let me translate if you want to translate use please use the laptop so you can click on the registration so you have to 
upload the documents that if you have any of the admissions like your document type so now you have to enter the passport details your passport number then issued by and date of issue and date of expiry then click on forward now you have to click on forward and confirm so you have to attach any other documents so you have to attach the identity document here so it's right now not attached so you have to insert here and upload file and similarly upload all files in this enrollment section so by following these steps your application here you can check working section completed section information and by following these steps in this sectorate option here you can check in the sectorate second option you have to follow all these sections and then your application will be automatically successful and it will be sent to the university for further and you will also get the email for the confirmation purposes so if you have any doubts in this if you find this lengthy process so we can help you get there and we will fill this application form for you but which are some fee for this as this takes time as you know this consumes very lot of time and it takes very careful steps to fill each and every step as we don't want to lose your time and uh, your way uh, we don't want to waste your year so that you get stayed at home again and we are just here to help you and pursue your dreams abroad so please do follow us on the instagram and to subscribe to our youtube channel full scholarships i hope you enjoyed this video if you have doubts you can just mention in the comment section that i have doubt in this and with this i am searching for a full scholarships please do subscribe like this video share this video to your friends and have a nice day